What's up, Rise of Kingdoms? It's Bye Bye here. Today, we are here to say farewell to the single unit troop type mayor. So, let me walk you guys over some of the timeline and explain to you guys why single unit troop type is no longer viable at all after the most recent update, the state forum. So I will prepare a timeline for you guys, okay? So let's talk about the beginning, the beginning of time, okay? 2018-2019, right? So here is when you get, uh, here is when the game just get introduced and the only three things that can give uh, different for each player are Civilization buff, City skin, and Special Unit, okay? So let's talk about Civilization buff here. It is still here, right? nothing changed yet. Um, so Civilization buff, each Civilization you get a different buff for one unit type only. For example, Rome you get 5% uh, Mars speed and you got Infantry Defense 5%, only for Infantry. So only one unit type. Um, so that is for Civilization, CD skin, you also have a CD skin that only gave a, speci a specific buff for one unit type only. For example, this epic C skin right here gave infantry attack plus 5%, archer health minus 50%. Or this one gave cavalry attack plus 5%, archer health plus 5%. And we also have a special unit, which is still here, right? Special unit also only works for only one unit type in your, for your civilization will get the special, special buff. Or for example, for me, for Rome's uh, civilization, that is Legionnaire, okay. Legionnaire is my special unit. A uh, legionnaire is legionnaire is the unit that get extra, extra, extra buff. So, um, for 2008 to 2019, for that part of like one or one and a half years, single unit, single unit, single unit type is the way to go because if you ranking for my like the most effective way to play, it is rank number one first. Civilization, if you play one unit type, you got all the buff. If you use a C skin for your one unit type, you got all the buff as well. If you got a uh, special unit, you want to play one unit type, you can run special unit on all of your five markets. So like from 2008, 2018, 2019, it is the best way for you to play, right? Because overall here, you can get up around, if you just play one single, single unit type, you can get somewhere around 15% to 20% more stat increase compared to the people who do not run one single unit type, which is very good. So even now, I, um, it, the, 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 the timeline is a time of your life if you play single unit type, and you can still achieve it by going back to KVK Sin 2 and Sin 3, because there you don't have to deal with the, the remaining stuff down here, okay? So... In 2019-2020, we got the new, the version 1 of the equipment system introduced, right? So this, I call it version 1 because it got updated to something else after. So in the version 1 equipment system, you, if you craft once, or one equipment, one piece of equipment over and over, every, after every failure, your chance will increase. So for example, right here, if I keep crafting a piece of, uh, Eternal Knight, right? let's say the chance right now is 11%. The chance right now is 11%. I cannot. So the first craft is 11%. Chance to, su to succeed. And if you fail, the second time you craft it, you will get 22%. And if you fail again, the third time you craft it, you will get 33.3%. And the fourth time, it will go to 44.4%. And after the fifth time, you will get 100%. Okay. So with the V1 equipment system, it also works very, very well for single unit type player favor because you can craft one single piece of equipment for either infantry or cavalry. And every time, if you keep crafting it, your chance, the next one will, will increase, right? And you have a better chance of like getting special talent for a lot of like single unit type player. So 2018 to, 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 to 2020, single unit, single unit tube type was very, very good. Amazing. But things start going down here in 2020 guys right first thing was the v2 equipment system introduction uh that is what we have right now right so what we have right now is that 
you don't get your chance the chance of crafting the chance of succeed is not increasing after every failure you only get one guarantee uh after fifth attempt and they added in the refinement system i think this is what we call the v2 refinement equipment right so v2 is the refinement system what which is what we have right now which is bullshit it works it it, it, it destroys single unit type <laughs> so uh for single unit type you still slightly better than the rest but it's the chain is not like a huge huge chain right um so that one is the beginning of the downhill for single unit type after that we got a new kvk instruction we got and here we got the bastion skill get introduced bastions um so like with the bastion skill or right, the single unit type doesn't work very well anymore you rank number three right the worst and two unit type you rank number two and three unit type you rank number one because you can use all you can utilize all the skill imagine i'm showing you guys right now this is what i'm talking about the support skill right so let's say if you are running like cavalry for example you're running cavalry for example and uh, you get like uh, batching skills that give Archer stat increase, like this one here. Archer 10%, uh, Archer attack 10%, right? So now you cannot use it batching skill, right? So like for people who are using one single unit type, you have very, very high chance that you will miss out on two, three, four, or even five, six of the batching skill if you get unlucky, okay? And for the people who are running five markets different markets they can utilize on all of the batching skill because they can use them on all of the unit type okay and that is the reason why uh three unit type is rank number one when it comes to a batching support skill two unit type sometimes you will miss that right? for example like myself in this case in this kvk i am running uh cavalry and infantry i cannot utilize on this solely sharp shooter still because it is for archer okay and imagine if you're running one single unit type, you're gonna miss out on a lot of skill. Uh, next one, let's talk about commanders. Um, so, in from 2020, there's like a huge trend into like making commanders equally strong, right? So before we used to have a cavalry which is squishy and fast. Um, and they might have some high, extra high attack. We have infantry, which is tanky. We have archer, which is kind of squishy, but can deal very, very high skill damage. But uh, when it comes from 2020, we're seeing like cavalry that be super tanky, very, very strong. Uh, archer be tanky as well and do a lot of high skill damage. Infantry can also do high skill damage as well. Uh, a lot of commander can do the same things now. And and also because the new equipment right, as the equipment get a uh, system get older more people getting equipment squishy commander can also be as tanky right and this is when like all commanders kind of the same right now it's not like the one before and now it's come to the point that you might want to just get the best of the best commander and that is when the single unit tie become worse and worse as well because if you keep sticking with some of the infantry commanders then you you will be losing out on a lot of the, the, the list with commanders uh and two unit ties raised to rank number one as well because now you can get any the best of the best commanders you want a uh, two unit tie rank number two but with that being said right, running three different unit type like three different type of commanders will also require a lot of more investment for you to keep investing on all of the new commander as well so that keeps that in mind um next we will talk about crystal tech uh for crystal tech single unit is still kind of a slightly better than the rest if you're free to play a low spender there is no difference whatsoever if you're like a pay to win player right? if, if you pay to win player you got maxed out on all of, all of your crystal tech uh but if you like free to play a low spender player you might choose to go you you might choose to focus on one oh shit let me upgrade this one here so i can show you guys uh you might choose to focus on one type of research right? for example this one here for for me i am a two two unit type player i'm focusing on infantry research and cavalry research okay so let's say if you like a infantry only player you can just focus on upgrading the infantry tech only and you can just ignore the rest of the tweets that is why uh, you can have a slide bearer but only for 
uh, only for pay to win and low, uh, only for free to play and low spend of player. All right, now let's talk about 2023, guys. Right, 2020, this 2023, this 2024, right? Uh, oh, my mistake. 2023, 2024, 2021, 2022. Yeah. Um, 2023, 2024, we are seeing the new forum update, which gave you, giving you guys a lot of new stuff. We are talking about the uh, amendment. Okay. So the way the amendment works is that you're getting random buff, right? You can get buff for archer, you can get buff for infantry, you can get buff for cavalry. But what you are looking for is buff for one single unit type, right? So for for player who play three different unit type, if you get like let's say if you, uh, if you get buff for like if you get three different buff for archer, okay? Attack increase for archer, defense increase for archer, health increase for archer. You can use that, okay? But if you're a single unit type player, let's say if you're like an infantry player, and let's say if this piece of equipment here only gave me archer buff, I cannot use it. And if you are if you are looking for, let's say if you are trying to get that kind of equipment that only gave uh, one single kind of buff for one single unit type, and you're only looking for infantry only or either cavalry only or archer only that is when the trouble rise because you gotta have it's gonna take you so much so much more time compared to the player who playing three different unit type if you playing if you playing three different unit type if you get a piece of armament that gives stat increase for archer only or cavalry only or infantry only you can use them right away you can use them on on some of your margin but let's say if you're like a cavalry focus main like only run cavalry find margin cavalry only and now you get a piece of amendment that gives that increase only for infantry you cannot use this you have to dismantle it you have to recycle to recycle it if you get a piece of uh, amendment for only archer increase only you, you can use it and and if you keep looking for that piece of equipment that only gave that single unit type buff for your setup it's it's gonna take you a long long time i'm telling you and this is also giving a huge huge advantages for the player who running seven market as well because now they have a more chance of using the amendment the right amendment because let's say if you run two p two two pair of archer right uh and they get two piece of Amendment gave archer. They can run. They can run it on archer, right? Um, it, 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 it's it's it game. It's game more advantages for the player who run multiple multiple magic because now they have more option. They have more chance of using the amendment on those magics. It, it, it's it definitely a huge huge boost for like pay to win player. Okay, in terms of like using being able to use more of more of the new equipment on more marches but also giving giving them more like possibility right they have more more choice more option okay so yeah right guys 2023 this is the death of single unit type guys because now you are ranked third in state forum you rank third in commander you rank third in batch and skill and now you can be losing out on a lot right the the benefit you get from the beginning now cannot make up for for the losses in batching skill commanders state forum and I, st I i recommend if i had to recommend you guys i would recommend you guys to go with two units Be even though you are ranked second for most of it but it doesn't cost you a lot of crystal a gem to invest on commander because running two unit type might cost you a lot of commanders to keep up with like a lot of like different um different command as well but if you could manage to get all of the different different uh all of the different um like commanders like list commanders and yeah well, i mean by all means go with three different unit type if you want to right uh, i am sticking with two unit type because uh, in terms of commanders i'm okay in terms of in terms of crystal type i can focus on two uh, unit type only a batching skill sometime i might be missing out one 
or two skill, but it's okay. I am okay with it. Uh, state forum. Um, yeah, I can focus on. I mean, if you have a, if I have a uh, two unit type, my chance of being able to use the environment is definitely gonna be higher than people who are running single unit type. <laughs> that is for sure. But still lower than the people who are running two unit type. Um, so yeah, guys, I just wanna quick make a quick video to let you guys know that uh, single unit type is no longer viable guys if, if you're still thinking of running single unit type i strongly recommend you guys to start investing on a different unit different unit type guys right start working on some other commander uh thanks for watching the video guys peace